single economic entity and corporate separateness doctrine, a juxtaposition. Under company laws, a company is considered to be a separate legal entity distinct from its holding or parent company. However, the doctrine of piercing the corporate veil is an exception to the rule and the court uses this exception to penalize companies. Competition laws, on the other hand, validate the single economic entity doctrine where entities within the same group may be considered as one for the purposes of claiming advantage from scrutiny of competition regulators. This paper aims to provide a brief overview as to the interplay between the applicability of the SEE doctrine vis-à-vis -vis the corporate separateness doctrine. The law governing companies globally and in India recognizes a company to be a personality distinct from its shareholders. In the celebrated case of Solomon, CEO Lord Harsbury had stated, a company had must be treated like any other independent person with its rights and liabilities legally appropriate to itself, whatever may have been the ideas or scheme of those who broke it into existence. As a rule, a subsidiary remains a spirit legal entity distinct from its holding or parent company. However, the doctrine of piercing the corporate veil is an exception to the rule that the company is a legal entity separate from its shareholders. In the escort case, the Indian Supreme Court had opined that the corporate veil may be lifted there if the state itself contemplates lifting their fail or fraud or improper conduct is intended to be prevented or a taxing state of a beneficent state is sought to be evaded or where associated companies are inextricably connected as to be, in reality, part of one concern. Thus, it may be safe to say that the court leave the corporate veil when the device of incorporation have been used for illegal or improper purpose, such as to defraud creditors, to evade an existing obligation, to circumvent a stated, or etc. The single economic entity doctrine, on the other hand, goes beyond the company law concept of a company having a separate legal personality and recognizes that different juristic person may, in certain cases, be acting and behaving as one. This paper aimed to provide a brief overview as to the interplay between the applicability of the SEA doctrine vis-à-vis -vis the corporate separateness doctrine, which hasn't been discussed by any regulator or authority or court in India. In fact, not just in India, there is not much commentary on the juxtaposition in international jurisprudence either. Relevant legislative provision in India Selection 3 of the Competition Act 2002 provide for anti-competitive agreement and state, no enterprise or association of enterprises or person or association of person shall enter into any agreement in respect of production, supply, distribution, storage, acquisition or control of good or provision of services which causes or is likely to cause an appreciable adverse effect on competition within India. Section 2 of the Act defines the term enterprise as a person or department of the government who or which is or has been engaged in any activity relating to the production, storage, supply, distribution, acquisition or control of articles or goods or the provision of service of any kind or in investment or in the business of acquiring, holding, underwriting or dealing with shares debentures or other securities of any other body corporate, either directly or through one or more of its unit or division or subsidiaries, whether such unit or division or subsidiary is located at the same place where the enterprise is located or at a different place or at a different places but doesn't include any activity of the government relatable to the sovereign function of the government including all activities carried on the Department of the Central Government dealing with atomic energy, currency, defense, and space. 
The egg is unique and is much as it provides a definition of an enterprise. From the definition prescribed under Section 2, it entails that the enterprise is one which acts either directly or indirectly through its division or subsidiaries, thereby going beyond the company law concept of a company having a separate legal personality and recognizing that different juristic person may, in certain cases, act and behave as one single entity. Thank you.